everyone, this is Alchemize bringing you more Call of Duty content for 2019 and in today's video we're going to take a look at Modern Warfare Beta that was available on the Xbox between the 19th and 23rd of September. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, what needs to be improved for the final release, some general thoughts about maps and weapons and the camping that's been going on. <laughs> you all know about that. So guys, there's no time to waste. Let's jump right in and talk about the good. Uh, the stripped back style of the game is really, really welcome after the kind of more cartoony style that we became used to over the last few years. I think this ultimately is going to go on to be the biggest and best COD that's been released. The graphics are a real step up from Black Ops 4, which was heavily criticised for its graphical content and style. But this game looks really, really smart. It is stripped back. It's only the beta, but it feels good to play the game. So that's an immediate bonus. The weapons, once you get some attachments on them, there are two key weapons that I think are excellent. And that's the Assault Rifle MA... Uh, M4A1, MA41, and the submachine gun, the MP7. As soon as you start getting some attachments on those guns, they are really, really good to use. They feel really comfortable. The time to kill on core mode is really, really good, a lot better than some previous releases. It's low at the moment. Who knows whether or not the developers will change that before the final release on the 25th of October, but time to kill feels good. We were talking with the kind of clan that I was playing with, which is the Whopper clan, big shout out to the guys, about how... It might be better to play the game this year in core mode and when I was looking at Black Ops 4 which I predominantly played in hardcore mode, when I played it in core mode I felt that it was more in keeping with the actual style of the game. For example, something that isn't present in this release but existed in Black Ops 4 was the health regen. In hardcore mode it didn't have any impact on the game, you could only use a stim once, it didn't really have any bearing on the game, whereas in core mode you were addressing gunfights perhaps more than once to win it and it really added a little bit of an edge to the game. So who knows, we may play the game in core mode, we'll have to take a group consensus on that. A lot of people were getting frustrated at times and saying they can't wait for the hardcore mode to be released just because it has that extra element of realism in terms of the time to kill. Uh, but yeah, so time to kill in core mode, that was really, really good. Uh, the maps look good, they feel good to play, they're slightly unusual in terms of the normal three lane route that you would see in many of the kind of Call of Duty games. There's a lot more kill points, you really need to be on your toes, but it's exciting, it makes the game good to play. It has its negative points, and I'll come on and talk about that in a little moment. Uh, something else that was really good was the 32v32 ground war game that was really exciting to play you could see everything start to come together in terms of the developer's vision for the game i thought when you were playing that 32 v 32 mode you could see that it really brought the uh, operators out in terms of what was going to make a player good and what role they were going to play were they going to be a demolitions expert were they going to be driving some of the vehicles were they going to be sniping the maps were set up beautifully really really well balanced far more balanced in ground war than they are in uh, the traditional team deathmatch and domination modes. Uh, there are plenty of new game modes that look like they're going to be available, so that's another plus point. Uh, so yeah, guys, lots and lots of plus points in the game and lots of good things to look forward to. Uh, something else that was really good from a weapons perspective was the rocket launcher it's super accurate it really you can fire it into windows and across the map if people are on your case so yeah those are some of the positives let's think about some of the things which weren't quite so good firstly uh spawning what's this delay all about when you're trying to spawn back into the game it's really frustrating i found uh, they need to shorten that respawn time down considerably uh, in all modes uh, and something else about spawn that was really quite grating was in the ground war mode. Individuals uh, who were your opponents, they would be spawning right next to you and killing you, like within three feet of you or behind you. Uh, that's not going to wash. They're going to have to balance that and readdress it. Uh, the kill points in the game, there's definitely an issue in terms of when you round a corner. You may have 12, 15 areas that you need to be looking at. That's slightly too much. I don't think that will be readdressed and I think that's going to be something that is going to create an issue within the game because I think it leads to camping. When people try and run and gun, 
they are often uh, having to cover too many kill points and even if they pick someone off they could be picked off by any one of eight or nine other points where the enemy can be watching you from and if people are inclined to camp then it forces you to camp otherwise you just look like an idiot because you're continually running out and just you're just basically a bullet sponge so that really could do with some addressing uh, the hit detection looked to be ever so slightly off in ground war as well uh, you would not be getting the types of hits that you would expect i think that the lag compensation is the one of the biggest issues other than the respawn and spawn time that they really need to take a look at because there are definite issues when you have low latency and a good internet connection certainly i think when you're playing cross-platform which was really exciting that cross-platform was available don't get me wrong however i think there's some major lag compensation in there i've got some super fast fiber broadband i've got a really low ping and i was finding i was losing some gunfights that i 100 percent should have been winning and when i was watching the kill cam back there was no way the individual had their sights up or no way they hit me before i hit them absolutely not so they really need to look at that uh, sometimes i think they were operating on skill based matchmaking within the game that again appeared to be a little bit of a problem with this misaligned skill based matchmaking i think they need to come up with some better idea for uh, how they're matching people up in games it was much more enjoyable to play the game when in a party than it was to be randomly dropped in uh, and just basically get annihilated so that's something that they can definitely look at but overall weapons really good to use i mean there was an immediate frustration where i think everybody who played the beta will probably agree with me that in the first two or three games you're thinking oh my goodness i'm i'm getting annihilated here what's going on but once you reach level four and once you have unlocked your custom classes and you can start to put some attachments on your weapons that starts to make a really really big difference to the game and you can really start to uh, develop your style build up your gun lower your time to kill uh, speed up your aiming down the sights remove issues with uh, idle sway and, and lots of other little tweaks that you can make. This feels like a grown-up Call of Duty game overall, guys. It feels like it's one for uh, kind of the hardcore FPS players. Uh, I hope that they can try and fix some of the issues that were leading to so much camping within the game because that will be really, really welcome. It forced me in the end to start camping. Uh, I couldn't understand why people were doing it at the beginning because this is the beta, so why would you want to camp uh, your scores are going to be scrubbed the, this is not going to be relevant to the final release of the game uh, but something that is relevant from the beta that will be relevant in the game is if you reach level 10 then you unlocked a pretty cool shotgun skin for uh, the final release so i'm looking forward to that which is going to be waiting for me when i uh, load up the game uh, the download was 37 and a half gig uh, i had it downloaded in an hour or two but i think a couple of people were telling me that it was taking a hell of a long time to download uh, so who knows how long the final release is going to take to download but uh, you'll want to get on that quickly uh, guys i really appreciate you taking time to watch my video today if you've enjoyed the video i'd be really grateful if you could subscribe to my channel it's completely free i upload only call of duty videos i upload them once a week or less uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. I certainly wouldn't spam anyone or anything like that, but it really helps me. If you're enjoying this video and you're enjoying the content today, then I'd be really grateful if you could drop a like on this because, again, that really, really helps push my video up the rankings. So, uh, friends, fellow clan members, and everybody else and all my subscribers, uh, please do feel free to hit a like and comment what was the best and worst thing about the video. I'll be sure to respond to you. Thanks a lot for watching and keep an eye on my channel for fresh Call of Duty Modern Warfare content every single week. I also stream on Twitch on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday and you can follow me on Twitter at Alchemize Gaming. Two words put together as all one word. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you all when the final game is released.